Hi you guys, welcome to Decor Lab. My name is Julia and in this video I will be sharing with you tools that you need to start a balloon business. Let's be honest, you don't really need a lot to start a balloon business, right? You only need balloons, a base for balloons, and a phone to communicate with your client or to promote your work on Instagram. And the last thing you need is something to inflate your balloons with, like a balloon pump, which can be a hand pump, which is super affordable, or an electric pump, which is also super affordable. So you can start with absolutely minimum cost. But if you do have a little bit of the budget that you would like to start with, so here are the few things that I would recommend for you to get. So the first thing I would recommend is an electric pump. So the one I like to use is super affordable. You can find it on Amazon, which is linked down below in the description. So this one is pink, that pink inflator, right? But there are a big variety of them, especially when you're looking on Amazon or other um, websites. Uh, the one I like to use the new link. So it's different, it has a little bit more power than the other ones, and it works perfect even for double stuffed balloons. It has the extension tips that you can put on top of it if you are looking to inflate a five inch balloons or just the regular ones for the bigger balloons. It does inflate them faster without the tips. So keep that in mind. If you're inflating an 11 inch balloon, do not use the tip. It will inflate it faster. So having an electric pump will help you to inflate two balloons at the time and will cut your time tremendously. Uh, but not all the venues or not all the houses you can use the electric pump. So Keep that in mind when you are thinking about installing or inflating on site. If you cannot be loud, because this thing can be loud, right? Um, I always, in my toolbox that travels with me for on, basically on all the installs, I have one hand pump that always comes in handy if I do need to inflate a few balloons in order to add or if something popped and I need to replace it so the regular um, hand pump works as well it just be a little longer to inflate your balloons so now we know that you need balloons you need the inflator so if you have a chance to pre-inflate your balloons and deliver them to like a site where you need to do the installation and you'll have a big enough of the vehicle to deliver it, you wanna make sure that you carry your balloons in bags. So here I will recommend a big giant uh, trash bag. This one is a 90 gallon. You can also find it on our um, Amazon account linked in the description below or a mattress bag. So this is a heavy duty mattress bag. I absolutely love it. It's super heavy, uh, heavy duty, and it has very thick walls. So your balloons will be more safer. And guys, where's the, where's the beginning of it? Hello. All right, guys, my favorite part about this particular mattress bag is that on the inside, it has that like little silver coating. So the when um, it's super hot out, your balloons do not deoxidize like right away when you deliver it. The next item I would recommend for you to get to start off is the base for your balloons. Here, I always talk about the importance of the good and sturdy bases. I absolutely love using the red tail cord and a fishing line. The fishing line though can cut your balloons and it is a little bit harder to work with. So I do like to use the 50 pound one. So it is thick enough not to cut your balloons as much as the thinner ones, but it is thin enough so you can still tie it when you're done creating your uh, creation. <laughs> the next item is very important to have as a decorator is hooks. I have a large variety of different hooks, so let me just show you some of the ones that I use most of the time. My absolute favorite hook to use on the brick is this one, clear, with a butterfly in the middle. It will be uh, one of the best ones to use for the brick. Just make sure the surface you are using it for is not dusty and um, that the whole area is covered. So this is my go-to for the outdoors. So the next one I have over here is the command hook. I typically use the one that is like three pounds um, and um, they're a bigger one and they are easier to work with the surfaces like when you're working on the inside but you cannot really use them on um, like a bare wood or the brick. So, but on something like um, tile, you can easily use those. 
And other things I like to use are the uh, mountain bases. We use them a lot, but we typically stick them on our surfaces or something that is like a metallic or tile structure. So mountain bases, they're tiny and they're strong, strong and mighty, but tiny. The next one I love, those are the magnetic hooks. They are heavy duty magnetic hooks. So this is uh, something I like to use for the ceiling installations. So we're using these on the metallic structure of the drop ceiling. So to hang whatever you need to hang off of it. They, these babies are strong. They can hold up to 20 pounds. And the last one is, I wanna say this is a discover, like something that I personally discovered and um, um, use those quite a lot because they're easy to work with and they're easy to peel off if you are working in um, in a venue or someone's house. So these called tag hooks. Basically those are the little hooks that you would put on um, merchandise when you're selling something in the store. Uh, they are perfect when you are using a helium balloon and you don't have a balloon weight. You can just stick it to the floor and it holds because it's clear. I also love using them when I'm installing something on a ceiling and I'm only like holding like it's, you only have like one orb or one balloon hanging. So we can use those if there's nothing else to attach it to. Those are easy to peel off, but they are pretty strong and they work with like colder temperatures as well. So that's nice tip for you guys. If you are working with like indoors and need something to hold something that is not very heavy. And one last thing I would like to recommend to you guys is just to get one of the bases. Not all of the bases for balloons will be expensive. We actually have a video where we share with you how to create a freestanding balloon garland on a base. And this base was the lamp stand. This is super affordable. You can get it off of the Amazon. You can get it in local department store, regular lamp base, and you can create your freestanding balloon structures on it. You can also create your balloon columns on it. And this is super, super budget friendly. So you don't need to spend like hundreds and hundreds of dollars for your first base. Um, and then just, you know, diversify your inventory by offering different styles on one base. All right, you guys, this is what I have prepared for you for the very basic tools to start off your own balloon business. I really hope you found it useful. And if you want to learn even more about balloons, make sure you check out our other videos. And I will see you in the next one.